hey dear admin in this video we'll learn how to create a all-in-one automatic discount with the volume offer and different scenarios of the volume offer like how to create an offer collection base how to create an offer based on the product and etc okay so very first thing you just need to go for the all automatic offers create your offer and choose volume or bulk discount what is the use of volume and bulk discount it is like you can just create for example five quantity then user will get a 10 percent off something like that or you want to go for the bulk discount for the user if they purchase in a bulk with the quantities so you can choose this offer in the case now you can set the offer name like whatever you want to go for then after here is a different options like apply to when this offer needs to be applied so it is based on the product variant collection or cart quantity here I choose based on the product and when I select a collection, uh, custom selection, it allow you to select a product for that particular area. So here I just choose the product by collection, sorry, product by specific products and choose this product. So that apply only for this particular area of the product, not the other one. Yeah. Now let me select here two products. So here we go with the product like two, okay. And I have an offer like two quantity, then 15% off, and three quantity, then 30% off. Okay, and save it. Now you can see here this is the product base offer, and when you go for the front end, it will be display like an offer with this in a table. Okay, like this you can see now if you create a product based offer it means if user purchase this specific product with two quantity or three quantity then it will apply the discount by 15% and 30% based on the quantity of that product okay so it is not like you are purchasing two quantity from this product and one from this and you will get 30% off if you have a product base offer it means a specific product needs to be matched with that quantity to apply the discount okay if you have a variant base offer then the specific variant needs to be created and if that variant is with that quantity then it will apply the discount for the collection we have an option like you can see here if it is like a same product of the collection or any product of the collection with a variation okay so for example if you select a product by quantity with the collection any product of the collection and if you choose here a custom selection by the collection okay then if any product from call one it will apply the discount like if I purchase in one quantity for this product one from this and one from for this product then it is the three quantity of that collection so i will eligible for the 30 percent off in in this case okay so just a thing for that like a product variant collection and card quantity so card quantity is like whatever the quantity in the card it will apply the discount if you have a specific collection based quantity then you can just go for this option okay i'm just going for this one and you can see now it apply the offer here when I add this product in my cart, it will be apply the discount like the taste offer, whatever the quantities is there because I already have a quantity by this collection with the three. Okay, so let me remove this product from my cart and remove this as well. So I have only one quantity so it will be displayed like you can add one more quantity to get the 15% off okay because I have one two quantity and 15% off so when I going for the two quantity here it will be apply the discount and display a message like one more quantity to get 30% off okay and here you go for example if I'm adding this product in my cart so I'm eligible for this offer because my offer is 30% off here because my offer is like any product of the collection and if I choose the same product of the collection and update the offer it means it is apply the discount only based on the specific product so you can see here it apply the discount here for 
fifteen percent, and for the thirty percent, it asks you for the one more quantity. Okay, so that is the same product of the collection. So that's the thing. Now with this table, we have a different options. For example, apply exact or more than quantity. It means like if you have here five quantity, okay. And you can see here two quantity then fifteen percent off, five quantity then thirty percent off. It means like if I have a three quantity, then I will get all three with the fifteen percent off. We call exact or more than quantity is there. Now, if you want to go for a series, for example, a series means like if you want to go for two plus two plus two plus two, then you will get the discount. Then you can choose it like here. You can set the series based on your requirement. Like you can choose four, you can choose three. So it means like three plus three. If you have a six quantity, then it will apply the discount. If you have a seven quantity, then it will apply discount only on the six quantity. The seven will be remaining with the full price. Okay. So that's the series one. Now the exact quantity. It means like if I have a three quantity in my cart, then I will get the discount. Then after even I have a four, five, six, seven, whatever the quantity is that I will not get discount in any cases of that. Okay, so if the three quantity is there, I will get the discount. That is the exact quantity. Now one thing is that like if you want to create an offer, for example, from this collection for the first product, I will get the discount, and the second one remaining with the full price. Okay, so in that case, you can create an offer by this. You can set to one quantity here and fifteen percent off, and choose the collection. And here, same product of the collection. It means here now what happened? Like if the first quantity is there, in which I get the discount, but the second one will be the full price. So here the fifty percent off is there. So it apply the fifty percent only for the single quantity. Another one with the full price. Okay, so that's the clear now. If here you can see it's a twenty-seven percent, twenty-seven dollar off. If I'm creating second quantity, then also I'm not getting the discount. It is only the twenty-seven, not the fifty-four. Okay, so that's the thing here by the exact quantity. You can achieve it like that. If you set it here two quantity, then it will apply discount only on the two quantity, and more than the two quantity will be with the full price. Okay, so that's the thing for the apply exact or bulk quantity. Now, if you want a specific collection like customer base offer, for example, if you have a VIP cust customer or a wholesale customer, okay, so you can just enter the customer tag here. So this offer is applied only for the specific customer, not for the other. Okay, so that's the thing. Now, the table which is display inside the product area here, if you want. A customization. This is like a use common language settings, which is inside the settings area, language settings. So that is taking from that setting. If you want for this specific offer with the custom selection tax, then you can use custom language settings, and here you can enter whatever you want to go for. Okay. So based on that, it will be display the offer here with the volume. Okay. So that is the volume offer here. The different options are there. As well as like if this particular product offer is just for the online store, then you can just choose it here. If that is for point of sale, then you can choose POS here, or it is for both. You can just select it here, which is by default selected. Okay. Now, if you don't want to display the offer table inside the product area, this one. Okay. For example, if you don't want to display the table, you can just make it as no, so it is not displayed in the offer area. The priority in the offer. Is look like for example, if you have a multiple offers and this particular product is inside a multiple offer area, like we have a multiple options for the offers here. Okay, so in that case, like it will check the priority and based on that, it will apply the discount to that particular product. Okay, so if the priority is one, that is the higher priority, and four is a lower priority. So based on the selection, like if A particular product is inside two or three collections, and you are creating a collection based offer. So you can set the priority accordingly, yeah. and in that case, it will check like that. Okay. Let me know if you have anything else about the volume offer. If you have any question, you can just go for the live chat. Our agent is will definitely help you for that. Thank you.